Hello? Hey guys, D Mike here for a new Let's Play. It's finally spooky season and it's the best time of the year. What better way to celebrate than with some Luigi's Mansion? Let's go ahead and get started. You've been excited for this time of year and if you enjoy spooky season, maybe throw a like on this video, commenting and subscribing is always gonna help. So let's go ahead and start a new game. We have made it inside the mansion. We are as terrified as ever, of course, in the foyer or foyer, if you're fancy. Whatever you're into, viewers. Okay. So, uh, this pulsing and throbbing door looks ominous. Let's touch it. Oh, okay, maybe not. Bad idea. So all we have for now is our wits and a flashlight to defend ourselves. Probably not in the best shape. That's okay. Let's go ahead and try to open this door. Okay. Well, um, that didn't work. Maybe we should try this door? Hmm. No success. That's not good. Well, I guess we'll have to backtrack and hope for the best. Oh, viewers were saved. It's the key. Oh, thank goodness. Nothing screams safety like a floating key. It has gone limp. Okay. So this orange fart has been coasting upstairs. We will have to chase after it. It's an irresistible aroma. Let's go ahead and grab this key. Flash that victory sign, Luigi. You have done it. The game is over. We have won. Let's move on upstairs and take off after that spooky spirit. Grab that watermelon with your Mickey Mouse hand and let's get cracking. Hopefully you're all doing well. I'm very excited to be playing this game. I actually skipped this game as a kid. I was very afraid as Luigi is now in this parlor. Oh, it's a spooky ghost. But now as an adult, I'm finally getting the chance to replay it. With high res textures, everything looks great, sounds great. Hopefully you're gonna enjoy it. Being presented in a new way. Some of the characters' heads look a little weird, like paper mache, but that's all right. I think it's kind of fun. This game was played on a standard definition, crappy 10-inch TV when I was a kid. I mean, I never played it, but my friends did. I watched. I love watching. But now we're going to take this on ourselves. I do love... <laughs> this is how this game would have looked in HD. So just consider that. Everything's been upscaled a little bit. But yes, this is uh, Professor E. Gad. He's going to be our buddy throughout the course of this Let's Play. Culturing us on spooky spirits and poltergeists. So we're back in the lab. Time to cook or learn about ghosts. So here we go. A little introduction for you. Professor Egad has been a squatter here. Claims that uh, we won this mansion in a contest we didn't even enter. He thinks that he's been here for 20 years. Who's the delusional one, viewers? Take your pick. He claims that it was the ghost telling us this. That sounds like he just doesn't want to give up this property. Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. You have been evicted. Unless you can help us find Mr. Red Hat, our brother. So the story of this game is very simple, very basic, as you'd expect from a from a Nintendo Mario Brothers game. According to EGAD, Mario won this mansion first, and then apparently we also won it. So, it's not really a good uh, prize if everybody wins. Not so special after all, but there you go. Here's your controls. We're not going to worry about that because we barely know how to play this game. This game is a blind playthrough, so we're just going to fumble around and figure it out. But yeah, here you go. This is the Poltergust 3000. It's the vacuum that we're going to be using 
to scoop up all these crazy wacky ghosts. So your R button is going to be your your sucker, and then uh, yeah. After that, you just got to get him. <laughs> For a second, Luigi's teeth there in the model looked like he had buck teeth. That was great. So ghosts are afraid of light, surprisingly, as we've learned from the various boos in the games that we've played. So we got to hit him with our flashlight first and then give him a nice good suck. Of course. What are friends for? But you got to be quick about it. You got to pull your C stick away. I'm using a game controller to emphasize that. So you got to pull in the opposite direction that they're trying to wiggle away. Oop, I missed. Great. Let's try that again. Yes, I do know how to play. Thank you, game. Barely. It's a learning curve. I did not play this as a kid at all, so... This is uh, certainly going to be... Something that takes a little bit of learning to do. Oh, it is such a such a hoot. All right, we got one. <laughs> it's probably not a very good number, but that's okay. We're still trying. Oh, we are certainly the best team. We put the I in team, that's for sure. Okay, well, you know what? Thanks for patronizing us. We just started to learn how to do this. Three, back in my day. All right, Boomer, whatever you say. Yes. How about a little cooldown? Hey, you just fought some ghosts. Do you want to hang out and look at some art? Uh, no. Not interested in your dumb gallery. That's something we'll worry about later. The gallery is filled with picture frames that are empty for now, but then over time, you'll be capturing special ghosts that will be put into said gallery. There's 21 in all, so just keep that in mind. We'll be getting all of those as he creepily waves. We'll be getting all of those, and um, there's other things you can get in this game too, like other collectibles for 100%. Probably not going to do that. I'm not very good at this game, and it's a blind run through, so I'm just trying to enjoy myself. This is more of a cash sesh. And what better way to have a cash sesh than to talk to your friend who's crying? Oh, Mr. Toad, where's Mario? Well, Luigi's here. Forget about him. Okay, so Peach has been ever so thoughtful sending Toad to go look for Mario. If we got lost, Peach would probably say, well, he's dead to us. That is too bad. Oh, well. That's okay. <laughs> I didn't see Mario and I kind of freaked out. What a good friend. Of course, we will help you find him. Not because we care, but because you asked. All right, whatever you say, Toad. We made, we made their dark and stormy night. Great. So in return, this is just where you learn to save. So there you go. Wonderful. Savings for chumps. We're not going to be doing that too much. We don't need it. We're just going to play this game 100% all the way through forever. All right. Here's your first chance to get some, some doubloons. Get a little bit of cash monies. Most of the items in the game, most of the set design, you can interact with it. So that's fun. It's enjoyable. Pretty cool. Ooh, viewers. Some cash. Go and scoop up all these Nilla wafers. One of the things in this game that you can do is uh, the more stuff that you collect in terms of monies, the better of an ending you'll get. Do I care about that? No, not really. But I am still going to try. I'm going to do my best to not make a complete fool of myself. We're going to get as much of the monies as we can because we're trying to take over the world. We don't need Mario to sustain our income. We can do it ourselves. We are independent. Luigi is an autonomous man. Stepping out of the shadow of Mario for the month of October as you do. Okay. Well, we... Looks like we blew out some of the candles. It's not quite our birthday yet. What happens if we get rid of all of them? Uh-oh. 
Whoa! Mr. Lime Green, that's great. Who put out my candles? Maybe it's their birthday. Don't blow out other people's candles, viewers. That's rude. Okay. Well, things apparently are uh, heating up a little bit. So we're Mr. Lime Green, Mr. Worldwide. Mario was referred to as Red Cap. I guess that's kind of a reference to mushrooms, maybe? I don't know. But here we go. It's our first attempt to take on some of these baddies. These are just your bog standard ghosts of the game. There's a few different varieties. You'll run into the orange ones. Those are kind of like your first standard ones of the game, and then there will be others. But yeah, once the... <laughs> game. <laughs> once you see the heart, give it a second. Come on. There you go. Give it a second, and then you can start sucking. You want to be patient when you're sucking. You don't want to be too aggressive. You don't want them to let them touch you. If they touch you, then they will be taking your hearts. You don't want that. Okay, so that's a first room complete. Very, very good. Let's go ahead and be rewarded for sucking, as you should be rewarded. It's a tough job. Requires a lot of effort. It's kind of tiring. So here we go. One of the things that you will be acquiring in this game is the Game Boy Horror. The Game Boy Horror is kind of your, um, your map. And you can see the entire house is pretty big. The mansion. It's got four floors in it. If you want to include the basement as one of those floors. So we got the key now. We can continue exploring. Yes. Very interesting. Another good look at that Mickey Mouse hand. Well done, us. Another room here. The Anta room. I don't even know what that means. I haven't seen that word in my life. But yes. This is a good introduction to getting used to collecting as many ghosts as you can. You gotta be careful because... Oop! <laughs> that will happen. You don't want that. They will not hesitate to fight back. In the... <laughs> I broke my rule. I said that you gotta wait. I'm just not doing that. Alright. <sighs> Game. Can you tell I've never played this before, viewers? Yeah, this game, it, it takes, it definitely takes a moment to get used to it. <laughs> You're like, oh, he's just trying to cover for the fact that he's really bad at it. Maybe, maybe a little bit of A, a little bit of B. Yeah, this is, this can be tricky sometimes. Especially these stupid pink ghosts. These ones take a little, little bit to get adjusted to. There we go. And you got to really fight it to kind of reel them in. But they do give you a pretty good amount of cash. That might just honestly be the cash that I started with. Oops. That's what helps if you if you acquire the ghost in the right direction. Oh, I'm not I'm not sucking the ghost up. Oh, I'm pointing the wrong way. That would probably be a good reason why. So then we've encountered orange. We've encountered pink. Two of the better flavors of Starburst. Very good. And you'll know when things are done because the Oops. <laughs> Part of the problem is that I'm not pointing the... the flashlight anywhere. I'm pointing at the sky. That's not good. Alright, very good. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this guy. One more orange one should do it, I think. Oh! Oh, viewers, he's spooky! Alright. <laughs> that's the thing that's tough, is like... it's a, um... it's a habit to to just kind of willy-nilly the C-stick, but if you don't have it pointed in the right direction down, for instance, you, uh... You'll wind up not pointing it at the ghost itself. You won't shine on its heart. Expose its heart. And then you won't, uh, you won't be able to give it a good suck. So you just gotta be careful with that. But yeah. It's airplane controls. Which is a little weird. Oh, don't touch that. That's a poison mushroom. That will turn Luigi into a shrinky dink. You don't want that. Stay away from me. We're not doing shrooms today. We have to stay aloof. Okay. And we've got one more room to do today. Okay, or not. 
There it is. A boink. Nope. Yeah, I have a really bad tendency to accidentally um, point my flashlight up. <laughs> oh, viewers, you could probably make an entire compilation about how the amount of times I'm going to do that in this Let's Play. The answer is a lot. Okay. Oh, ooh, there's a Trash monster. My nickname. All right, so. Okay. <laughs> this guy, he's got a little bit more HP, 40 this time around. And uh, he throws bananas around. <laughs> oh, viewers, this is so much fun. There we go. Yeah, so he'll throw bananas around as you start to pull him in with the poltergust. It's kind of his shtick. If you don't want to slip on those, you'll lose your monies. All right, so that's just one. I believe there's two in this room. Yep, there it is. Nope. Surprisingly, pointing your flashlight up at the sky does nothing. You gotta watch out. The game will very frequently throw multiple guts. Ghosts. 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 No, I can't even talk. I'm making fun of myself and I can't even finish my statement. It'll throw multiple ghosts at you, so you just need to be mindful of that. Alright. No problem for us. We will handle it all. Get back here. You trash monster. There we go. Kind of slipped and fell a little bit. That's okay. So that's most of the ghosts in here. We're not quite done. Look at these fancy outfits. Need a nice little dusting. That's a way that we can. Help. Whoa! A blue ghost, viewers. Yeah, I think that was supposed to be like a bonus ghost. Definitely whiffed on that one. Surprisingly. There we go. But we can take care of the easy ones because that is something that a trap could do. Very good for us. We are amazing. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if there's anything fun to suck up on here. Suck on some feet. Never mind. All right. Oh, look at these sweet gray fix. Nice mirror texture. Well done, 2002 Nintendo. But we've got the key. Very nice. So that shows that we can proceed now if we leave this area and we head back to the staircase. We can continue. Let's check the balcony real quick out here. Oh, it's Toad again, and he's crying again. Wow, Mario! Yeah, well, you should be feeling lucky. The superior of the two Mario brothers is here to help you out. We will find Mario eventually. Don't worry, Toad. We'll get him because you're useless. The princess is going to be so mad. She sent me here, and I'm going to do nothing. Okay. Well, that's the way it goes. We're going to head back the way that we came. We're at the top of the stairs, and next time, we are going to take on more exploration of the mansion. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D Mike. If you enjoyed this series, please like it, comment if you feel up to it, subscribe, and hit the bell thing, whatever. This has been Luigi's Mansion, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.